All right, this is my third example on using this trick I found in Feynman's Tips on Physics to take the derivative of a fairly complicated function here. So what I'm going to do is just write down the entire function again. Let's see. Sine cubed of 4x times x to the fifth plus 4 squared. Everything over cosine of x squared plus 4x all of that cubed. Then I make a bracket and I treat, I go through term by term and uh, do each one. So the first one, uh, sine cubed, so the exponent is 3. On the bottom I put the thing, sine of 4x, and on the top I put the derivative, so f 4 cosine 4x. Alright, then do the next term right here. Since on top I do plus, the exponent is 2, the derivative is 5x to the 4th, and the thing itself, x to the 5th plus 4, goes on bottom. Then the last term is here, it's on bottom, so I'll do a minus 3 for the exponent. On the bottom I'll put the whole thing, cosine x squared plus 4x. And on the top, I put the derivative of that. So it's, I'm going to have to take the derivative of the inside, so 2x and negative sine. So negative 2x sine x squared plus 4. And that is the derivative of that really nasty function right there. And just to make sure, I'm going to double check it using the regular old product rule and see what it looks like. So if I try and use the product rule, I'm going to do the first term and then write down the other two. So I'll have, let's see, the derivative of this is going to be 3 sine squared 4x times 4 cosine of 4x times this and this. So times x cubed plus 4, all squared. And I'm also going to put this here and just change the exponent. Cosine x squared plus 4x, all cubed, negative 3, now that it's on top. Then the second term would have plus, I leave this alone, sine cubed, 4x. And then I take the derivative of this term, 2 times 2 times x to the fifth plus 4, and then the derivative of the inside, so 5x to the fourth, and then I also multiply it by this whole big thing, cosine x squared plus 4x all to the negative 3, and then I have one more term, I leave the first two alone, sine cubed 4x times x to the fifth plus 4 squared, and then I have to take the derivative of this function. So I do power rule 3 times cosine x squared plus 4x, then I, this squared times the derivative, oh, oh, I made a mistake here, this needs to be negative 3 and negative 4. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa negative 3 right there and negative 4 because it's, oh, it's a negative exponent here so negative 3 to the negative fourth power and then the derivative of the inside of this so that's going to be let's see I have to do 2x because that's the derivative of the inside the derivative of cosine is negative sine sine and then I still have the x squared, and then I also have plus 4. Let's see, and that should be the exact same thing. I'm going to check it, check my terms real quick, and make sure. So in the first term, I, st I have 12, and I have 12 here. And then for the sine cubed, I only have sine squared, so I should really only have sine squared which is correct. Uh, I still have this x to the fifth 
plus 4 squared, and I do, but I wrote it as x to the third for some reason. Should be x to the fifth plus 4 squared, so I still have that. Um, x to the fifth plus 4 squared. Then I have my cosine, my 4 cosine 4x. Four I don't need to worry about the the coefficient because I already took care of that, but I have the cosine 4x and I have this thing on bottom. So my first term is the same. Second term is a 10, a coefficient of 10, so I have that. The x to the fourth I have on top. This term I still have right there. And this term I still have sine cubed in front. So do I have the correct number of x to the fifth plus 4. So I just have one here, and if you cancel these out, I just have one. So my second term looks good. The third term should be, let's see, the same. would have negative 6 for one of them, or positive 6, so that would be correct. And in the second term, it would be minus 12, so I still have the same thing here. Um, for the first term, I would have... Oh, fortunately that's a different thing, but I have this sine cubed of 4x, which I would have right here even though I forgot to write down my cubed. I have my sine cubed of 4x. I have this term right here. Um, cosine x squared plus 4x to the negative 4. I would have that. And this thing I have right there. So all my terms are the same. Feynman's trick worked uh, the same as the product rule, but in this case with a complicated function it was a lot less writing and a lot less work I think. So thank you and let me know what you want to see next.